What's up guys, I'm Jedi Warrior back again with another LEGO Star Wars review. I'm reviewing the Praetorian Guard Battle Pack this time. I am probably not the only one who got this just for the Praetorian Guards, but the build is unique as well in that it's not a speeder that is completely non-canonical. It's a training platform for the guards. <clears throat> On one side of it, you have a stand where you can keep the weapons. It comes with three weapons plus an extra. And then there's a stack of studs on top of it for the spare stud shooter. For, uh, spare studs for the stud shooter. On top, there are two of the 4x4 four four circular plates that are on the... they spin. I forget what that joint's called. I just call them spinners. But you can put your guards on those and spin them and have them be sparring. I always thought that was cool. On the other side you have... I think it's supposed to be like a training droid. You have the base at the bottom and on top... whoops. And on top, it's all based around a single one by one brick with a stud on each side and an anti stud on the bottom. On the front, there's a red stud for like an eye. On the left side, actually right if you're not looking at it, on the right side, there is a small uh, pistol. On the left, there's a lightsaber. The whole set is red colored to fit the theme of the Snoke Stern Room set, which I do want that set actually. So maybe if I get it, I can put these two together. It's not designed to go together, but you know. <laughs> and then for the figures, you have two Praetorian guards that have the same helmet. They have, uh, I like the helmet mold. It's a. Uh, hmm. I don't even think how to describe it. Almost looks like a like an umbrella thing. You have a brow that sticks out over the front, and then you have the mask down inside. The brim that sticks out it kind of reminds me of an umbrella, though. It's curved like one. They have the I don't think they're new, but they're new to me. The uh, turtle shell shoulder pad armor. They don't have the sloped leg piece like the ones in the Snook's Throne Room did. They have regular legs so they can stand. You can uh, pose them if you want. I do like their, or the prints on them look really good. Under the helmet, all you're going to find is a red head. <clears throat> and I like their weapons. One of them has, they're both based on a handle stick handle base. Like a bow staff would be built, but each one has a different blade on top. One has a machete, and one has a longer blade that I'm not even sure what to call. And then the other one has a different helmet, kind of has an upraised front. It slopes out and forward. It's more narrow and longer. He has the same shoulder pads and a different weapon. It's like a uh, hooks on the earth. It's like teeth on the end of a hand or the ends of a handle, but they're angled to the wrong or angled opposite directions. I'm really not sure what to call that. And then complete throwaway. You have a stormtrooper. Regular first order stormtrooper, nothing special about him. As a stud shooter, as all as all yeah, as all battle pack figures seem to do now. You should not have or you should not have a stormtrooper in this head. Should have been four Praetorian Guards, then I would have gotten two of them and had the whole set and only needed to order the Snoke figure from that other one, because that's really the only one I want other than the Guards. And that's my only real issue with this set, and I'm not the only one, I bet, who got this set just for the Guards, but the build is cool too. It's really not much, but they went a little bit... Or they kind of went the extra mile there to give you something that wasn't just a random speeder. 
and I like that. That's it for this review. Peace out.